I miss you guys so much. I wish I could just give you guys all a big, huge hug. Um, but since you're here, let's do some art. Today I want to teach you about my favorite artist, Vincent Van Gogh. Here's his really famous painting, The Starry Night. It's hanging in my classroom at school. You guys ask me about it all the time. So today, we're going to learn a little bit more about Vincent Van Gogh. Here are some self-portraits that he painted. Here are some quick facts about Vincent Van Gogh. The type of art he did was called Expressionism because it was used to express how you're feeling. He was born in 1853. That's 166 years ago. He did most of his painting in France and he was not famous during his lifetime. He only ever sold one painting while he was still alive, even though now he's one of the most famous artists in the world. Here are some of his paintings. All of these artworks have a lot of things in common. First, they all have lines, and the lines are there to show movement. There are a lot of different kinds of lines, such as wavy lines. The paintings all have lots of bright colors, and that was to make you feel happy and joyful when you look at the picture. And you can tell by looking at the pictures that Vincent Van Gogh's favorite color was yellow. Finally, all of these artworks are landscapes, and a landscape is a picture of an outside place. Now I want you to go back and look at those artworks one more time, and then I want you to think about these questions. How does Vincent Van Gogh make it look like things are moving in his artwork? Do you see colors that are repeated in each of the artworks? Which colors? What kinds of lines do you see in each of the artworks? How does it make you feel when you look at these artworks? You can post your answers to these questions on Schoology, and at the beginning of the next video, I will share some of your answers. All right, now that that's done, let's make some art. By the way, here's Broccoli. He's doing well, he is alive and happy, and he misses you guys example of the drawing that we're going to do today inspired by Vincent Van Gogh. We're going to borrow a lot of ideas from Vincent Van Gogh's artworks, such as the wavy and swirly lines and everything looks like it's moving and the bright beautiful colors, but we're not going to do a landscape, we're actually going to do an under the sea picture. Let's get started! Here's what you'll need for this drawing. A piece of paper, any kind of paper will do. If you don't have white paper, you could use lined paper, or you could use construction paper, or you could even use um, the back of a piece of cardboard or anything that you have laying around that you can draw on. You need a pencil, make sure that it has an eraser. If it doesn't have an eraser, then you need to make sure that you have an extra eraser just in case you mess up. You will also need something to trace it with, like a black pen or a black marker. And then finally, you will need something to color it with, such as crayons or colored pencils. And if you don't have either of those and all you have is markers, that's fine too, even though you guys know that I do not like markers. Now remember, if at any time you feel like I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video, or if you missed a step, you can always go back and rewatch it. Remember to always start your drawing with a pencil in case you mess up, that way you'll be able to erase and you will not waste paper. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to draw our ground, the bottom of the ocean where the sand is. And we're gonna use a wavy line to do this. And when I say wavy line, I don't mean a, a really quick squiggly line like this. I mean long, smooth S wave. Kind of like that. Not a fast squiggly line like this. Next, we're gonna add some seaweed. I'm gonna do mine over here. We're, all, we're gonna do another wavy S line, nice and slow. You can make your seaweed very nice and tall. Okay, and then start at this top again so we can make the top of your seaweed pointy and wave back down. It does not have to be perfect, just do your best. Let's do another one. 
wavy S line up, stop at the top, come back down and wave all the way to the sand. Let's do one more S line, come back down. Make sure you go nice and slow so you can control your drawing. Next, we're gonna add some coral reef. We're gonna just do a really simple one. So we're gonna do a rectangle, a long skinny rectangle. Then growing off of that, we're gonna do another skinny rectangle and they're connected. We're gonna do another skinny rectangle. And I'm gonna add one more smaller one. Let's add some details to our coral and to our seaweed. Coral has little tiny holes in it and sometimes fish and small critters like to hide inside of them. So add some little tiny circles to your coral. I also wanna add some seaweed that's kind of waving off the top of it. So go ahead and add some wavy lines coming off the top of your seaweed and that'll make it look like there's some seaweed growing and waving in the flowing water. Now let's add some lines to our seaweed. So we're gonna start right here at the bottom of the seaweed and we're gonna wave all the way up. If you can fit two in there, you can go for two. Do the same thing to the other seaweeds. All right, there we go. So I got the idea for this artwork that we're doing from this artwork by Vincent Van Gogh called The Starry Night. Do you see that it kind of looks like a seaweed right here and some wavy sand like we have? And we added coral instead of the little houses. Now, instead of the big shining moon, we're actually gonna add this silly blowfish. Okay, so now we're gonna add our blowfish. I actually didn't like how mine turned out, so I erased it, and I'm gonna try again. Good thing I used a pencil. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to draw a circle, and remember, it does not have to be perfect. Just do your best. Good. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is add his little mouth, so it's just gonna be an oval with another oval inside, and then we're gonna give him two big puffy cheeks. One over here and one over here. Give him some big bulging eyes. Very good. All right, let's add his fins on the side. Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a line going out and a line going out and then we're gonna connect them, okay? Line going out, line going out, connect them. All right, he's looking good, we're almost done. The last step is we're gonna add his little spikes. Cause he's all puffed out right now. So add some lines coming out of him. Kind of like he's shining like a sun. And then we're gonna add one more layer of lines coming from those. So skip a little space and do another line. And now he looks like he's really puffing out. Now we're gonna add some wavy and swirly lines to our background so that it looks like the ocean water is waving. So you can add some wavy lines. And then you can add some curly lines or swirly lines. Watch me. Wave a little bit and then loop it back around. Okay, a little bit and loop. A little bit and you can loop up. All right, now it looks like our water is rushing and waving. Let's add some little tiny fishies that have got caught in the current of the water. I'm gonna do mine right here in between this spot. 
So we're gonna draw some really super easy fish. First, what you're gonna do is draw a little oval, kinda looks like a really tiny potato. And then we're gonna go out and out, just the same way that we did the fin of the blowfish, connect it. We're gonna keep it really simple. We're not gonna add any details to these little tiny fishies because we're drawing a school of fish, so we're gonna draw a lot of them, okay? So, again, oval, out, out, connect it. All right, I'm all done with my fishies. And I made some of them look like they got really caught in this big swirly current right here. I also added a couple little more fishies down here. All right, and then we are going to add one bigger fish. And if you would like to add more than one, that's fine. And you can always add any extra details that you think of. But we're gonna add one bigger fish. I'm gonna put mine right here. We're gonna do the same exact thing. Draw an oval, but much larger than these. Look how much bigger this oval is than those ovals. Same thing again, out, out, connect it. Give them a little triangle fin on the bottom, triangle fin on the top, little eye and a smile, and he is all done. And the last thing that we're gonna add to our drawing is some dotted lines. So first we're gonna add some dotted lines down here at the bottom in our sand. So kind of follow along with the wavy line that you made. I'm gonna do one dotted line and then I'm gonna do one more dotted line. Don't do a million, because we are gonna trace it. All right, and then I'm also gonna add some dotted lines that are going along with my wavy and swirly lines in the ocean water. So I'm just kind of following along with the line that I already drew. Do the same thing with my swirly line. You don't have to do all of your lines if you don't want to, especially if you drew a lot of swirly and wavy lines. All right, and now we are all done and it is time to trace it. If you do not have a black marker, you could use a black pen. And if you don't have either, that's okay. You can just skip this step. Okay, all done with that. And then one more thing you can do before you're ready to color. If you want to, you don't have to, but it makes your drawing look a little nicer. If you go around and erase some of the pencil lines that you didn't quite trace exactly on top of, it'll just make your artwork look a little bit neater, but if you don't feel like doing that, that's totally fine. Okay, I'm all done, and now I'm ready to color. You can use whatever you want to color. You could use crowns, or you could use colored pencils, and if you don't have either of those, you may use markers. All done coloring, just kidding. I had one that was already finished. All right, and then the last thing that I want you to do that will add a little bit more excitement to your artwork is where some of your dotted lines are or some of your wavy lines with a different color crown, I want you to trace over them, kind of like I did here already with this darker blue and this purplish color, okay? Watch. I'm gonna use orange and I'm gonna trace over my dotted lines like this and I'm gonna trace over all of my dotted lines in my yellow sand and voila I am finished I really want to see your drawings so please follow the directions on Schoology and submit me a picture of your final drawing I will select a few and during the beginning of my next video I will show them off to the school I can't wait to see your artwork until next time, bye-bye.